My name is Unso, and this is a Rockstar Science production. Okay, these are our summative labs for our, our unit on civil machines, which is entry level physics. And um, the humanities teachers and I have been coordinating our efforts to try to integrate this into trying to understand the ancient or the, the civil machines of ancient Egypt. Uh, our standard level lab that most students uh, are using is trying to understand how the Egyptians move like big blocks up inclined planes to the top of the pyramids. And uh, for this, they're going to use a little bit of math skills, and we have all the formulas kind of given there, but uh, they'll construct some inclined planes, collect data on them. We've done this before uh, in class and uh, through some quizzes. So they've had a lot of formative assessments leading up to, I think, what will show a good mastery of these skills and being able to differentiate between the ideal and actual mechanical advantage. Um, following that, they're kind of just going to reflect on that, and uh, a lot of the standards are related to, like, you know, science, mathematics, um, and being able to graph and look at relationships with forces. Our blue level lab is one on the Shadif, which is kind of a machine they use to get water out of a river, so you have like a counterweight here, and then a kind of a bucket that got water here. And, uh, essentially, this is a lever, and what the students are going to do is something kind of similar. With this, they're going to kind of look at some examples of levers, being able to kind of explain what are the, the different classes of lever, and also build a Shadif and uh, do kind of a corresponding uh, analysis of that. Uh, our final one here is kind of a stretch. Uh, the ancient Egyptians didn't use pulleys, um, but we thought that it was kind of relevant, and um, we've looked at pulleys a lot for our labs and, and simple machines. So the last one is going to be uh, building some basic pulleys, fixed, movable, and block and tackles. And um, with this, they're going to just collect some data on how forces are basically changed with the Lincoln pulleys. And um, it seems like a nice integrated unit within science and humanities. And uh, this will be our culminating assessment for unit you know, civil machines. Hey, sixth graders, there have been some recent new discoveries in archaeology from ancient Egypt. And our villages, Sankara and Heliomorphus, have been charged and. And Nihilus. Have been charged with finding out what these simple machines are. We need to find out if they will actually make work easier. This will help us. We need to call upon our scientists, our thinkers, our farmers, all of the people who can make use of tools to find out more about if this will make our work easier. No, on the on the logs on the tabletop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
no taking pictures of um, people walking. Okay. You guys couldn't find a green one? Green string? Yeah. Somebody took the Okay. Good. Okay. Is it? Mm -hmm. So, if the ideal mechanical advantage would um, be the same as the. No. Okay. No. The actual, that's what you have to actually measure. Okay. Um, it's this divided by output. It's going to be a really weird decimal. How's it going? Oh, Lillian, you need the, the square block. The square block. Can you find one? <laughs> 